Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a fixed video for part two. So the first part of course of the lock screen problem. Some people are complaining of the one minute problem. Um, I just want to say one thing. It's a problem because a lot of us don't like it but technically it's how it was designed. So it's not a bug in Windows. It's just the way they designed Windows. So you've got the one minute problem where you know after a minute the lock screen disappears and your screen just goes off. I had that on my insider machine by the way uh, with the big 50 inch TV telling me there was no signal because it would just like switch off the screen which I didn't want. I wanted to have several minutes you know. So how do you do that? Unfortunately Microsoft doesn't make it easy. There's no setting for the amount of minutes we can set the log screen which is sad and uh, I think it's worth it to do a feedback hub post on that. So how do you change it? Well in the power settings but before you do this you got to do a little tweak in the registry because the power settings don't have a setting for the log screen. You got to add it through the registry in order for this to work. So what you do you of course go to the reg edit. So reg, edit, and once you're there, you will follow the following little places. So here, I just closed down. It was somewhere else at the beginning. I just uh, closed down these uh, open things here. I start from scratch. So your um, registry editor should open like this technically. So you want to expand H key local machine first of all. Then you want to expand the system tab. In here you'll want to expand the current control set. Then you will expand control. In control you will expand power. So it will go down and get power. Expand power. In power, you will want to expand the power settings. And this is where it gets a little complicated because it's just little strings of characters. You'll take the one that starts with 7516B95. So let's go down. There's one here that is 7516B95F, F776, 4664, and so on you got the right one. Just expand this one, okay? We all have it and we all have the same string of characters. Then there's a second string of character. This one you're not going to expand it. You're just going to click on it. And it's the one that is 8EC4... Uh, what is it? 8EC4B3A5. So this is the one you're just going to click on it. So here there's something that says attributes and it's set at one. You will click attributes then you will right click on it. You will modify this number, set it to number two instead of one and click OK. And now you can actually close the registry editor. You've just added the lock screen settings in your power settings. Now you want to go to the control panel so just go to control panel I know it's complicated, but you know, sometimes Microsoft makes it hard for some things to really be there. In the control panel, you will go into power options. In the power options, you'll see that you have a plan that is set. Go to the right side of the plan and say change plan settings. And then you'll go to change advanced power settings. In here, you will go into something that is called display. And here you will have console lock display off timeout. Expand it. Look at that. On battery and plugged in one minute. You'll click here and you'll change that, say to 10 minutes or whatever amount of minutes you want it. If you don't want it to, ex to expire really, what you could do is just set it like to 360 minutes and it's just going to be like, you know, a, a, a whole pack of hours, you know four hours, five hours, six hours, whatever. Uh, so put an amount of minute that you know that generally you're not there. 
But I want to just warn you about one thing. If you ever have a device that has the new OLED displays, the OLED displays have burn-in problems. So you might not want to set this too far ahead. You might want it to set like 5 or 10 minutes, nothing more than that. But at least put the amount of minutes you want. And uh, for regular LCD displays, it doesn't matter. You can set it to an hour if you want or two hours. Click Apply. Click OK. And you know what? Your lock screen will now time out after that amount of minutes that you just put in there. So that's how you do it. I know it's complex, but that should work. For those that the first video didn't work. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.